Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, Pennies and Salt. I'm Megan and I am a homeschooling mom to six kids. So today on my channel, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what our plans are for this upcoming week for a unit study that we are doing on the Reformation and then a fun little Reformation Day celebration on the actual Reformation Day. So hang tight and I'll show you what we have planned. So first, let's start with what is the Reformation and why is it important? So basically, it was when what were viewed as abuses and inconsistencies within the Catholic Church were brought to light, and then a split occurred in the Catholic Church. Thus, Protestantism was born. But before leading up to the Reformation, there was also the development of the printing press, which encouraged education and learning to read and being able to have a copy of the Bible. So that's basically, in a nutshell, what it is. But there are so many more parts to the Reformation as a whole and so many great things that you can learn about in history. So I'm going to take you through a timeline of what we're going to be studying each day. And hopefully this is helpful for you guys and hopefully it gives you guys some ideas to incorporate in your homeschool as well. So let's start with day one which is Monday, and I will tell you what I have planned, and I will look down sometimes because I have this wonderful planner from my friend Wendy over at Plan Prep Play. I always do that. Pre you guys. Plan Prep Pray. Ah, oh, Wendy, I promise I know the name of your channel. It's just a tongue twister for me, and I always end up saying, I'm going to do it again. Plan, prep, play, play. I always say play. I guess you do play too, but it's pray, pray. Anyway, I'll link her channel down below because she's actually get, doing a giveaway of this wonderful planner, so go check her out. Okay, so as I stated, we are going to kick this off actually not on Monday because we have our co-op on Monday, and so I'm not going to put anything else on us for Monday. So Tuesday is when we will actually kick off this study. And we are going to begin in our morning basket with this excellent resource called Reformation ABCs. Now, this is great. It's the people, places, and things of the Reformation A to Z. Uh, we are not going to read it all at one time. We are going to concentrate on a few letters each day. So in my notes over here, I have written down that we are going to learn about Letters A through G of the Protestant Reformation. So this will give us lots and lots of history and things to talk about. So that will be day one. Um, we are also going to be doing a hymn study and learning the hymn, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. And this is actually written by Martin Luther. And along with that, there is an excellent resource, which I will link down below, but we use it often. But it is actually a YouTube channel and there is a blog that, that corresponds with it called Happy Hymnity. And it's wonderful because this month, the song is A Mighty Fortress Is Our God. And so there are these free printables on their website, which again, I will link down below. I will link all of these things down below for you guys. But you can print off this. This is all the verses. It also has the actual music notation printing. And then there are actual copy work that you can do as well. And so we are going to be working through that. Now on day one, when we begin learning a mighty fortress is our God, I'm not going to expect my kids to be able to keep up with the song. It's written in language that they aren't gonna understand half of the words in it, like what's a bulwark? What is a fortress? What is, because my kids range in age from, kin well, 
school age, kindergarten to fifth grade. But I also have a three-year-old that will be sitting in on this as well and a one-year-old who will be toddling around. So all that to say, there are gonna be some words in here and some phrasing that they really aren't gonna understand. And so day one, the focus of, this, of the hymn study will be on listening to the hymn, trying to follow along with the words, trying to sing along a little as they can, and then us going through, okay, what is a fortress? What is a bulwark? Um, and just kind of deciphering for them what the meaning of the hymn actually is. The next thing that we're going to be doing is through our church, we actually have access to a wonderful streaming network, I guess. I don't know what you would call it. Streaming service. There we go. Called Right Now Media. And they have excellent resources on there, especially for kids. So we're going to tap into some of those resources. So on Tuesday, we're going to be watching a short stop motion film on there about, I think it's called The Story of Martin Luther. And um, it's pretty short. Like I said, it's just a little stop motion thing about it of just what, who is Martin Luther and the story of him in a nutshell. So that will be day one of our study. Now, in addition to this unit study that will kind of be guiding our week, the only thing we're going to do besides our unit study on the Reformation in history is we will only be doing reading and math throughout the week because this study is going to be our history. It's gonna be our science. I'll show you how in a little bit. So there's really no reason to add anything else. Plus there's music in there. So day two on Wednesday, again, starting with Morning Basket, we will be focusing on letters H through M in our book. And then we will be singing A Mighty Fortress is Our God again, this time focusing purely on just actually trying to sing the song because, again, the words are hard. Um, <laughs> after we spend some time on that, then um, we will do our math and our reading, and then we will be watching the Torch Ladders video on the Martin Luther story. So with this, we will, I will be basically expecting them to pay really close attention. I'm going to be asking questions, stopping the video when we need to, so on and so forth. It's a, about 30 minutes, give or take, and um, it's, it's just a really good depiction of the full story of Martin Luther. So on Thursday, again, we will start with this and we will be focusing on letters N through R in this book. And again, a mighty fortress is our God. But this time we will be doing some of the copy work. Then we will be shifting gears into some historical focus of what is the printing press, why it was important. In regards to this specific lesson, I have that we're going to read a book, which I will pop up here because it is coming in the mail. It is called Johann Gutenberg and the Printing Press. Very original. But uh, we will be reading that book. It is a graphic novel, so I know that my boys especially will very much enjoy it. And then we are going to be, um, we're going to watch a short video. Actually, there's two different videos that we're going to watch on YouTube about how they actually used Gutenberg's printing press. And so that will be really cool to be able to see that and to see how movable top was used and all of those things. So those are only a few minutes long. Um, and then we will do printing our own little printing press with foam letters. My plan is to get, um, just some of those foam letters that you can get at the craft store. They will have to put them onto a piece of cardboard, stick them onto cardboard um, to say whatever they would like to say. And then they will take a brush, just like they use the little beaters in the printing press. They will take the brush and brush the ink on, and then we will do a printing press that way. So simulate our own. So that's what we're going to be doing. And then for our video, we are also going to be using, again, it's on Right Now Media, but you can also have access to it. Um, just, we used to own the actual DVDs of it and it's an excellent resource. I highly recommend them. They're called Theo, 
Um, I think the full name is Theo Presents. They're excellent, excellent DVDs with short explanations of theology for kids. And it's, my kids love it. They have watched it since they were very, very little. Just great, very biblically based explanations on salvation, um, saving faith, is the first one that we're going to watch again because it's been a couple of years probably since we've watched that one. So we are going to watch the Saving Faith one. It's not very long at all. Um, and then the next day we're going to watch another one, but I'll get to that in a second. But those DVDs, or if you have Right Now Media, those shows are super, super good. So I highly recommend them for anything, but I thought they would go great with this because I do want to focus, of course, on the gospel and salvation. So for Friday, we are going to finish up our book. There's also um, some little things for the numbers of the Reformation. And so we will read those as well. And then um, symbols of the Reformation and then a timeline. I forgot to show you all that as well in this book. So we will finish up the book. And then we, again, will sing A Mighty Fortress is Our God. And then for the last part of the historical focus with the printing press, I'm going to have them do a Lego STEM challenge where we try to build a replica model, not a working one, but that would be cool. And I guess they could if they really, like, can. But um, just a model of the printing press. And then we will watch another Theo video on salvation this time. Now, on Saturday, I almost said Friday, on Saturday, that is actually Reformation Day, aka it's also known as Halloween, but um, we are taking the focus on just feasting that day um, in observance of our thankfulness for the Reformation and for God's saving grace and the gospel. So that is going to be our focus for Saturday. And we are going to do this by celebrating with some German food because the Protestant Reformation kicked off in Germany. And so I have done some research and found um, what looks like some good German cuisine to make. And so we're all going to pitch in and make this big meal together. So we are making traditional, if I say this wrong, oh my goodness, you guys, traditional sauerbraten. There we go. I know I said that one right. Um, and basically it's a roast, but it's made the way that they make it in Germany. Um, and then we are also going to be making, I am not going to pronounce this, you guys, Car Kartoffel puffer. Kartoffel puffer. I probably said that totally wrong, but you guys, oh my goodness. <laughs> Potato pancakes to go along with it as a side as well. <laughs> and then um, I also printed off German fried potatoes, but I don't think I'm going to make those. They do look really good though. And then we are serving it with a side of applesauce because that was something I consistently found that they serve as sides with meals. It said they serve it warm. We won't be eating it warm. Warm applesauce is gross to me, um, but that's just me. Anyway, and then also seasoned eggs. I looked up what meals were typical during the time of the Reformation, and one of the things that came up was hard-boiled seasoned eggs. And basically it's just hard-boiled eggs cut in half with just some parsley and salt and pepper. I'm pretty sure was all it was. So um, just really simple. Um, and so we're gonna have that as well. I guess it's kind of like the same concept of deviled eggs. Now, one of the things I'm super excited about is I found this article online that was talking about um, in whatever city it is in Germany, I don't remember what city it was in the article, but on Reformation Day, their town's bakery makes these Reformation rolls. Now, I don't know how to say it in German, and I had Google translate this, so I don't even know, like it's not even printed on here anymore, but um, basically it translates as Reformation rolls, and um, so we are going to be making these, and it's not a very good picture, 
but basically it has like let's see it has like almonds and lemon peel and um it also has i think it has orange peel in it um and you like grate that in there as well and then after they rise then you take um take a pair of scissors like food scissors and clip an x on the top and it opens up a little bit and you put jam in the middle and you bake them then when they come out you glaze them and i was like that kind of sounds amazing so we're gonna try it so that is going to be our reformation day feast our door will be opening to people who are coming around in the neighborhood and we will have the opportunity to love on our neighbors um so we are not just closing the door and focusing on this because we do want to be a lot and to be able to share the gospel but we also want to feast in thankfulness for the gospel and the truth of the gospel so that is how we are studying Reformation Day, and that is also how we, I guess, are celebrating Reformation Day. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or if you celebrate and have any more suggestions that you think we should add, put that down in the comments below, and I will see you guys on future videos. Thanks so much, guys.